Well, I'm here with uh, Matt with uh, VF Tuner today, and he has some promising, uh, very interesting news for the Mazda Sky Active. Uh, yep, Matt here with VF Tuner. We're going to be releasing right after SEMA, actually, uh, support for Sky Actives, all 2012 plus Sky Actives. Uh, we're going to do it as a structured release, so we've already got support ready for 2012 to 2018 Mazda Sky Active. Mitsubishi and Denso ECUs. Shortly after that, that'll uh, come the encrypted four megabyte version of ECUs. That's the newer ones like 2019, 2021, 2022, those model years. And then that includes like Mazda 3, 5, CX3, all of those with a 2.0, 2.5, and the, the, the M.5 and the smaller ones in Japan. Uh, I know a lot of guys have been asking about, how about the 2.5 turbo? How about the 2.5 turbo? Yeah. That is also supported. We've got support for the Mitsubishi and Denso ECU, read and write over OBD. Uh, that's going to come out hopefully end of November, beginning of December. We're finishing up our map list for it, but we've got all the encryption done. We've got the reading, the writing, the flashing. Um, some of the nice stuff that's going to come out with it is we've got fast flashing already done. So you can flash ECU in about one minute and it's brick, wow. it's uh, brick proof as well. Oh. So you won't brick the ECU if you fail on flash. So we, we have a wow. Yeah. And uh, so like we first worked on fast flashing for the older ones, like the 2014 uh, Mitsubishi ECU. Oh, okay. Uh, we got flashing down to 30 seconds in that ECU. So you can plug in, flash real quick, right back to tuning in like less than two minutes. Yeah. Uh, but I did post some stuff about our custom code, which controls fuel. So I have seen a lot of you guys uh, talk about the new super, well, not really new, but the supercharger for the 2.0 and 2.5 from yep. VT Racing. And we actually have our own here, uh, but it's for the Camry. Um, we know that controlling the fuel on Sky Actives, uh, the stock code, yep. you can control the full throttle fuel uh, and you can get kind of close, but you can't get the exact fuel target you want. I've known that for years because I, I tuned the one of the first NDs when those ECUs got cracked back in like 2015. And then I did some tuning uh, with Mazda uh, related to some stuff with jump cars. But, uh, after that, I got into Toyota, so I left the Mazda market for a while. Toyota is just so big, it took all of my time. But I didn't want to let all of that knowledge that I learned about Mazda to go to waste. Oh, yeah. And I know we were originally going to release it back in like 2022, but we had some, we actually had some manufacturing problems with our new device. And that was the COVID chip shortage. Yeah. Yeah. And we could have released it on Tactrix, but there's a, there's some things that we wanted to do specific to this, which is wireless flashing, Bluetooth data logging, and uh, using our own code over Kim so that we can flash faster. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do that with Tactrix. They're like off the shelf stuff. We don't yeah. get access to the code, but they're, they're great units. Uh, they're, they're great at what they do. Just for our specific application, we want to So we finally got it done and released November, 2023. And we've been working on getting everything updated since. And now, one year later, here we are at SEMA. We're ready to start releasing all our Mazda stuff. So what's uh, something like this cost? So a, a full package. This is the device, software, license for one car, read, write, flash, tune yourself is $399. And if you're, let's say you're a pro tuner, you want to tune many cars. You can add the pro tuner package for Skyline Active. <laughs> And then each additional car is eighty dollars. Okay, so the the current problem I have is um, I have two Mazdas. I have a ND2 and uh, a 2021 ND2, and I have a 2022 Mazda 3 Turbo hatchback. The problem I have right now, as you probably know, uh, I'm working with Justin Freeman with Mazda Sauce Tuning. So he um, he's currently using Mazda Edit. So the problem I have is I have to, I'll either have to have two laptops right, because, or I have right. to go to Justin's to get one car tuned because I don't have a second laptop. Is this software going to be something that I won't have to have will two not laptops? Have to do so I'm aware of that. I used MozEdit for years back in the day when I was a tuner before I moved away from tuning. 
um, you can, if you're an individual and you have multiple cars, but you, you don't want to tune many cars, you can buy an extra license for each car. And then you can all use the same, the same laptop, same device, and we'll license that car. And you can flash both just as if it was already licensed. So no, no need for a second laptop. You don't have to re-register your software, nothing like that. Just something we do on our side and yeah. then your, soft, your car is ready to go. That's definitely an advantage because yeah. now I have the Mazda 3 where I can, Justin can send me the tune with yeah. the revision, I can do it. Right. But with my ND2, uh, I'm, uh, I'm his uh, development car. Right. So and uh, I, he rides around with me anyways, but say he wanted to send me something and have me do the logging. I only have one laptop, so I can't right now. Right, I understand that. And I know also with Mazda, it could be a little bit uh, annoying. You have to get your hardware ID, email it, wait for a key. Yes, it's Then slow. you have to get another key for the your, your tag tricks and then do that. So, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. But with ours, once you register your serial, you have access to everything. Yeah. That usually takes less than 24 hours. You email us the serial. We get it registered. From there, you're good to go. And uh, let's say Justin, for example, wanted to to uh, sell remote tunes to customers. He can buy kits from us, which is we have a special version for tuners that they they keep the file locked, and they only allow flashing and data logging. That way, the customer can't accidentally modify a map or hey, I want to oh, this looks like a boost target. I want to up that. Or something. No, they don't have access to that stuff. They can flash your map. They can data log for you, and then send you logs. Yeah. And uh, he can also can control who can access his tunes. He registers your serial number with his access uh, calibration manager. Oh. Uh, and then he can uh, control, okay, this customer's mine, he needs his tune, here's his serial, you have access to Flash too. And that's called calibration manager in our software. So we're, we're really excited about it. I mean, I personally have been tuning, I, tuned, I started tuning SIAC as Back in when they first came out, 2000, yeah. end of 2011, when the first 2012 lower yeah. compression one came out. And then I remember I did a turbo on it for a customer a long time ago. It was a fun project. Um, and then I started tuning Miatas and then got to, into some stuff with Mazda. And then Toyota guys came to me. And unfortunately, the Toyota market is so big. Yeah. It took all of my time. I had to, I had to say, hey guys, I'm sorry. I can't do all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm working on Toyota now. So if you're a Mazda customer, I'll give you an extra year. I'll try to get everything done for you. After that, I have to stop tuning. So I did that and then I left the market for oh, about six years, six years ago I left. But there's some stuff about the ECUs that I learned when I had access to additional information on those ECUs that I want to let everybody who likes tuning those cars have because i know it's a big mod market lots of mazda guys yeah. like to tune their cars they tune it mod it headers superchargers all yeah. sorts of fun stuff even turbo kits exist for this kind yeah. of thing. like cork sports turbo kit. Uh, i'm hoping i know i know that there's been some you know animosity between us and the best but i'm hoping that they can take a look at our software and see if it's something they want to use because that that control over fuel it's a 3d afr table the the AFR you want is the AFR you get, no head ends. And it makes tuning the fuel so much easier. Because, I mean, guys who tune uh, Sky Actors, you know that controlling the ignition, ignition is pretty easy. The valve timing is usually pretty easy. Throttle is easy. But fuel, there's many different targets. You got over temp protection for the catalyst. You've got uh, wide open throttle, which you can only access if you meet that throttle threshold, which is a certain degree which I don't believe Mazda Edit has available as a table. Um, and then their accelerator angle, which is a certain uh, degree that you have to meet in order to get that 2D table to be active. And even that 2D table will not give you exactly what you want because there's additional EGT controls in the background, which will modify that fuel. And in some specific cases, it will actually lean out in order to control temperature. So if you see suddenly, why is my AFR getting leaner and leaner? That's those EGT controls in the background. Uh -huh. Yeah, so our custom code overrides all of that, makes it really easy to use. AFR you want is AFR you get. Yeah, plus you're, uh, you're in the United States. I think I heard that 
the Mazda Eda guy is in Russia. I think. Yeah, he's always been in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've known I've known it, uh, him since. Man, like 2008. So it definitely slows it down. Yeah, there's a there's a time difference. Yeah, like you were saying, you have to to get the car unlocked. You have to to send that away. Then he has to unlock it. Right. Send it back. Yeah. Now, I I don't want it to sound like ours is instant because it's not. You do have to register your device, but once you register it, everything else is in your hands. Yeah, it's not instant, but it's quick. Definitely sounds smooth. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, a really cool feature we have is our wireless flashing is safe. So I know everyone's scared. Oh man, wireless, that, that sounds kind of sketchy. I don't want to disconnect. No, we designed our Bluetooth connection over a special, it, it's, uh, you actually have to activate uh, a setting in your computer to download data over metered connections. So we have that all set up so it's secure and remains connected. And with our fast flashing, let's say worst case scenario, Worst case scenario, you're in the middle of a wireless flash, you turn the car off and unplug the device. Your ECU is okay because our, our fast flashing does not flash the part of the code that, which would break the ECU. Okay. So you just turn the car back on, plug it back in, flash again. No problem. So with the laptop, uh, is this seen as uh, Wi Fi or as uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth? Bluetooth. Okay. So on Bluetooth, you'll see BF tuner, you can up to that and pair it. And then you, beyond that, you don't even have to pair it again or try to reconnect. When you plug it into your car and it has power, run the software. The software will find it. And then from there, you're good to go. You can even plug it in and then run the software initially. You don't have to use USB yeah. at all. We will have transmission support early 2025 for Mazda, Mazda all. Oh, okay. Not just Mazda 3, but all that use that. We're yeah. already, yeah. already working with it. So that'll yeah. that'll change the uh, shift points. So uh, you can change a lot more than that. Shift points, uh, solenoid pressures, everything, pretty much. Oh, uh, it'll make a shift faster. Shift faster, shift harder, shift softer, torque converter control, lots of different things. Okay. Tuning it will be a little challenging. I'll warn everybody, it's not going to be super easy to tune it. Okay. Um, but once you take the time to learn it, it you know it, it could give you an advantage tuning wise shift faster, things like that. Um, if there's any other tuners for Mazda, come see us or email us, visit our website. Um, I think you guys are really going to like our new device. Yeah. It's got a lot of cool upgrades and cool stuff that we've implemented. Um, especially wireless data logging is nice. Uh, no cable over your legs while you're driving, connect to your laptop. And we will have a, a phone app coming so that you can data log on your phone. And eventually, it's be able to flash with your phone. Look in our website. Well, it sounds very promising, and I thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, yeah, no problem. The interview. Uh, no problem. I'm excited. I really hope yeah. you guys uh, take a look at what we have been making. Um, we're excited for it. I I always love the Skyac, the platform, high compression, uh, small engine, but can make nice torque, and they can handle boost well. So when I was tuning them in Hong Kong for races in China. We ran on stock pistons, stock rods, we ran 25 PSI with metal. Wow. And they didn't break. They handled it no problem. Wow. Yeah, so those are, they're very strong. And the 2.0 is actually stronger than the 2.5. Oh. Yeah. But 2.5 is super strong. They're very good engines. Built really, really well. So it's exciting, guys. Uh, thank you for your time. We're super excited for the Mazda community. 